going to be followed by Zodiac. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. While keeping the panto spirit alive, it's Jack and the Beanstalk, only this time the Giants are doing the climbing. Gary Mason's ambition is to establish arm wrestling as one of the great spectator sports in this country. And this wall requires more than arm strength, as you will see. Zodiac already on Gary's case. Got him by the knee. The coach doesn't go too high. Oh, Gary. Hanging on with one arm there. He's down. He's off. Talk about Beauty and the Beast. There's Dennis. Come on, Lightning. And Dennis has given her the slip. Matt Klein not affected by his ankle. Ten points for him. Now, Gary, I, I did not quite sure if you gave it your best shot. I I think no, you no, secretly no, just no, wanted no. to be caught by Zodiac, no, 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 didn't no. you? No, 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 no. It was that no weak mistake. and feeble look about you. No, 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 make no mistake. I gave it my best shot, but they say that women are the weaker sex, but this is proven proof that they're not, are they, women? Let's hear it. Let's hear it for Zodiac as well. So let's see how our next two superstars will get on. Standing at the foot of the wall, it's good old Vinnie Jones. And he's going to be chased by Jet. Also preparing for the wall, it's Oliver. Who's going to be chased by Scorpio. Over to John Anderson. Three. Two, one. And Oliver used to getting over heights, but usually with a horse between his legs. And talking to Vinny has been described as talking to a brick wall. I tell you, this is not easy. Vinny, a Wimbledon player, but Oliver also a bit of a footballer, having played junior soccer for Luton and Fulham. Here come the girls. Will it be Jet that takes Vinny down a peg or two? She's on his case. But look at Oliver, what a terrific speed as he goes over the highest hurdle he's ever seen. And Vinny's off the wall. We know that. He's definitely off the wall. Last but not least, it's Neil. He's going to be pursued by Nightshade. And there's my little star. It's Fash. He's going to be chased by Falcon. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. Well, let's hope Fash doesn't spit his shorts this time. It's going to be a tremendous view if he does. Oh, he's off the wall. Go again, John. The wall moves. He's going to have to get a move on now. He's been chased by Falcon, her first attempt on the wall. And Neil being chased by fellow Olympian Nightshade. Woo! And look at the speed of this fella, considering he just slipped. And Nightshade on Neil already! And Fash is over for 10 points. Oh, Dennis Andrews there, great impression of the Penguin out of Batman. And look at Nightshade, ripping him off the wall there. Strong man, but not strong enough. I needed that. Even though I fell down there, I was just about to have a cry. I got time to get back up again. I'm very pleased. I think I'll need those ten points later on. Well done, Nightshade. Oh, thanks, Lily. But um, I expect him to give me a really hard fight. Nothing, I wouldn't expect anything less from a fellow Olympian. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Let's hear it for Neil and Nightshade. So the scores after three events, Vinny static on five, Gary 11, Neil 16, Dennis 17, Oliver 22, Fash the Flash 26. Well, 
Welcome down to Oliver, Dennis and Fash. You did a terrific job. As soon as the whistle went for you, Oliver, I saw you go faster. I didn't fancy getting caught and pulled down that wall, I tell you. It was, you... Hard, it was hard enough getting to the top. What about you, Dennis? Enjoy that one? I really did enjoy that one, but I thought I was going to make it. It was real close. <laughs> and with a little bit of an injury. You really are my star, because I know in rehearsals you were saying you weren't too sure about the wall, but you did a good job. Yeah, I was very worried about the wall. What happened at the beginning there? I slipped and I fell over and I was just about to have a tantrum, and I heard somebody shout, go again. <laughs> That's very unlike you, Sil. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> and may I say, you've got very nice legs. It's the first time I've seen them in two years. They're lovely. Thanks, Ollie. <laughs> we catch our breath you really must join us after the break here on the battle of the gladiators Welcome back to the National Indoor Arena, and like Cinderella, we're off to the ball, Atlas Spheres. In this event, three contenders take on two gladiators. The three contenders are situated in the center of the arena and will break to the pods on the referee's whistle. A special event for a special show. And what's even more special, our two gladiators are female. They are Lightning and Zodiac. <laughs> Pod number one for smoke. Pod number two. Pod number three. Pod number four. Contenders ready! Vinny's in the black atmosphere. Dennis in the red. And Gary's in the yellow. Gladiators ready! As a special Christmas present in the commentary box with his tinsel, it's Trojan. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Things are hotting up now. Well, it's uh, showtime out there. You've actually been in one of these atmospheres. What's it like? Yeah, I did a Wembley. It's all lower body. Ah, on three there. there. Three points for Gary. And Vinny there picking up three. Pick up your legs and push like crazy. There you go. Gary's a big fella, so he should find this quite easy. There's another three points for him. And he seems to have blocked Dennis out of it, actually. So what is the trick about this thing? Is it is it uh, getting those legs up high? Yeah, lower body strength. Three Don't points worry there. about your arms. All, oh, all someone's down. Dennis is down there. He picks up three points, though. You get your arm, just go for the pods, and just try and ignore the fact that there's gladiators chasing you. Is this physically exerting? It is a killer. It really is. A minute in this is like 45 minutes playing something else. Dennis, three points Five there. Points. And there's Gary on three. He's picked up three points there. Oh, Dennis, <laughs> go for it. Three points. It's a high-scoring round there, and Vinny doesn't seem to be doing much of it. I think Vinny's lost. Yeah, what do you think of Vinny? Um, oh, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's very popular with the gladiators. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dennis take a tumble there. That can hurt those cheese graters pretty sharp. Dennis, I have to say, I'm very impressed. It's very rare that we get people go on Atlasphere for the first time and score nine points. It. Uh, it's amazing. It's fun. I love this. This is a nice game. But uh, I'm serious. I'm out there to uh, take care of those gladiators. So let the beatings begin. Whoa, let's hear it for Dennis. <laughs> now I want you to take this well. Um, you scored three points. That's very good, you know. Yeah, I know how golf is still now. Well done, let's hear it for Vinnie Jones. Well, I've never kept a goldfish in a cage. The water kept running out. All right, Gary, leave the girls alone, for goodness sake. They've just been working very hard. You're all soaking wet again. It's very hard, very competitive, and um, the two lovely gladiators. I would normally be chasing them, but unfortunately they were chasing me today. <laughs> well, listen, they didn't do that good a job because you scored 12 points. Hauga! Hauga! There's Fash with his own wooga. Do you know what that means, Trojan? Well, it's what I say when Shadow hits me with a pugil stick. But... Well, I actually asked him earlier what it means, and apparently it's Nigerian for joy and happiness. So we wish you an awooga Christmas. 